Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all real numbers x, x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to be using the following axiom. We have axiom four, which tells us that there exists a real number, which we call zero, that has the property that x plus zero is equal to x for all real numbers x. Now axiom five introduces the concept of the negative of a real number. And it says for every real number x, there exists a real number, which we call the negative of x, that satisfies the property that x plus the negative of x is equal to zero. So every real number has a negative. So in particular, zero has a negative. And previously, we have proven that the negative of zero is equal to zero. And we also use the concept of the negative of a real number to define subtraction as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. And also, our real number system is equipped with a subset that we call the set of positive real numbers. And using the set of positive real numbers, our definition of greater than is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We say a is greater than b if a minus b is a positive real number. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start with the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every real number, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number. I'll call it x. And with this arbitrary real number x, we want to show x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. Now, first of all, we can establish x is equal to x minus zero by applying axiom four, star, and the definition of subtraction. First of all, by axiom four, we know that x is equal to x plus zero. And then according to star, zero is equal to the negative of zero. So we can replace the zero here with the negative of zero. And then by definition of subtraction, x plus the negative of zero is equal to x minus zero. So through this chain of equalities, we see that x is equal to x minus zero. Now remember, the whole goal is to show that x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. And we're going to establish this through a chain of if and only ifs. And through that chain of if and only ifs, we are going to be using the fact that x is equal to x minus zero and the definition of greater than. First, since x is equal to x minus zero, to say that x is a positive real number is equivalent to saying x minus zero is a positive real number. But by definition of greater than, to say that x minus zero is a positive real number is equivalent to saying x is greater than zero. So through this chain of if and only ifs, we see that x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. So what we have shown here is, for an arbitrary real number x, we have x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. Since x was arbitrary, this means we have shown for all real numbers x, x is a positive real number if and only if x is greater than zero. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.